Welcome to LearnToMac.com. I'm your host, Dan Watson. Today I'm going to add my Bluetooth phone to the devices and pair, that, pair it up with my Mac. I have a Nokia, and this would work for, um, for, for most any phones. The, the process is, is similar, although the phone manufacturer is going to, each one is going to be a little different. But the way that I would do that, I actually have the Bluetooth menu up here in my menu, but I'm going to, in case you don't have it, go to your system preferences. And there's Bluetooth. I'm going to say set up a new device. So you go up on the devices here, set up a new device. Welcome to the Bluetooth setup assistant. This is a mobile phone. Hit continue. Now it's searching. So what I have to do is I have to go to my phone now and make it discoverable. I know on a Motorola, my wife has a razor. What she has to do is, is click on, um, go into the Bluetooth settings and say, find me. Um, on my Nokia, what I have to do is go to the Bluetooth and let's turn it on. And there it is. So now I hit continue. Computer is gathering information. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to determine what this phone can do. Different phones can do different things. Um, I, I'm one of the lucky ones where my calendar syncs with it. Um, obviously the address book. I can actually get on the internet through my phone. Um, I, I have a T-Mobile service and uh, they, they're really quite good. My wife, uh, basically, she can sync her um, address book. But that's a whole different story. So what I'm doing now, my phone just said passcode for Dan Wasson's computer. So I'm entering this number. Oh, I'm too slow, talking too much. And there it is again. So now I'm going to go 605. You only have to do this once. And then 647. Hit OK. And there it is. Gathering additional information you saw down here. So the two are communicating each other. My phone now says, do you want to accept a connection? And I say yes. And what I can do with this is I can set up iSync to transfer my contacts and events. And, and your phone might be different. I can use it with the address book. I can access the internet. I can, <coughs> excuse me, I can do all of those. And then I would hit continue. And enter in my username password if I wanted to get on the internet modem script and then I hit continue and quit and that's it and iSync will open up and it says on my phone it says accept connection request from Dan Wasim's computer I would say yes and then my phone will show up there and being that I have a Nokia says here you need to install the iSync agent so I would say continue it's copying the iSync agent from my computer over to the phone my phone's telling me now receive a message yep now this is only with Nokia's you normally wouldn't have to do this with the Motorola's or anything like that um, and that's it my phone is now paired with my computer and you can actually see here picture of my Nokia 6600. It's a little bit older phone, but, uh, but it works great. And that's how you pair up phones with your computer. You have to go under the Bluetooth underneath uh, the system menu. And the big thing is, is in, depending on what phone you have, you have to tell your make your phone discoverable. Um, I know on, on uh, Motorola's it says find me and it'll, and it'll make itself discoverable for 60 seconds. And then what you have to do within that 30, 60 seconds is tell the computer to go out and find that phone. And then you saw what it did here. It actually went and, um, and took, it, took over from there. So these phones are, this phone is now synced with my computer. And now if I hit sync, the two, uh, two will share information. That's how you can uh, sync your phone with Bluetooth. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Um, I know a lot of people have a lot of problems with it, with this, depending on their phone. This is, uh, like I say, I'm one of the lucky ones. 
but uh, if you can try these basic steps and hopefully it'll work for you. I know that uh, it, it, it generally works. We did it with my wife's razor and it worked um, for the most part the same way. So uh, hopefully it'll work for you. And uh, we'll see you next time on LearnToMap.com.